Just a few weeks ago, I had a chance to drive the new C-Class Coupe. And this is the convertible, the Cabriolet. And they didn't just pick any destination to showcase this car. We're in Trieste in Italy, right on the border with Slovenia. Going to take this car through some beautiful roads and get a chance to try it out. And I'm especially excited because in the market right now, we just have the C300, not the AMG cars. So today I'm getting a chance to drive the C43 AMG and the C63 AMG. We'll start out with the big dog first. Sunscreen's on, roof is down. Let's go for a ride. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of touring uh, in Italy and now we've crossed the border into Slovenia away from the coastline into the twisty countryside here and I said we're starting in the top dog and I'm not kidding this is the AMG 63S with 506 horsepower from a 4 liter bi-turbo V8 engine gone is the naturally aspirated engines of old it used to be the 6.2 liter V8 now you have this four liter power plant. And what turbochargers do is give you a whole lot more torque, which is fantastic for getting out of corners and uh, a little Clio in front of me, slowing me down. But uh, that's what you get when you're here. You know, all different kinds of cars, big and small. Small, more than big. Uh, and this would be a big dog around here, I tell you. So uh, it is so much fun to drive. And you can hear the popping and the gurgling of the exhaust. Uh, we have. Uh, the Sport Plus setting set on this car. You get Comfort, which is for cruising, Sport for sporty driving, Sport Plus opens it all up. And you want to pass somebody, you just think about it, and away you go. It's just uh, wonderful. Looks like there's a storm coming in here. Hopefully we won't have to put up the, the window, but the roads around here are just wonderful. Look at this, this is great. Another thing I'll say about this car is that it doesn't feel like a 500 plus horsepower sports car. It feels like a 500 plus horsepower touring car, which is just perfect for what we're doing with it here, touring around the countryside, enjoying ourselves. Now, I don't think that it feels like, uh, you know, 500 horsepower uh, Carrera, for example, but it uh, probably most closely resembles that F-Type Jaguar convertible, the R, that has 550 horsepower from a supercharger. This is very close to that. A comfortable, fairly large uh, convertible that is just uh, perfectly at home touring around. All right, now the rain has started. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, where is it again? It's here. So I can, uh, up to 50 kilometers an hour, I can put the roof up. So I'm doing 45 kilometers an hour and the rain has started, so it's time to put the roof up. I'm driving along. Oh, that's slick. That's pretty slick. You don't, have, you don't even have to wait for a traffic light. You just put the roof up. <laughs> Love it. Wow, that rainstorm we could see in the distance, we are now in the middle of it, and a lot of cars, including me, have pulled off to the side of the road here. There's big chunks of hail hitting this uh, new C-Class. Uh, you can hear it hitting the windshield, but surprisingly, the roof is really quite well insulated. So it was really hard to see. And uh, me flying overseas and being a little jet lagged, I didn't want to risk uh, getting into an accident here. And it looks like there's about 10 or 12 other cars behind me that have pulled off to the side of the road too. So uh, it's uh, quite a storm. Uh, <laughs> what started in beautiful sunshine, an hour later in a big thick black cloud. I've tried to start driving again. I've got my hazards on, but just listen to that hail. Wow. It just I think I'm gonna have to pull over again. This is whoa. Flash of lightning. This is no fun. The road is literally white. Covered in white. Hey dude, you can't stop there. Keep driving. Now this is a uh, all-wheel drive car. <laughs> it's amazing, the whole road is covered with this hail. Something else. Wow. I'm looking 
looking for the next pullout here. So I'm driving with my hazards on. The guy in front of me is driving with hazards on and I can barely see him now. The uh, traction and stability control is, is working away here. I never thought I would come to Italy and Slovenia in summer and test drive the all-wheel drive capability. Whoa! These roads are fantastic. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Now, I've got the car in Sport Plus, and I'll just let you listen to the engine here. Make sure I am in Sport Plus. There we go. And when you come to brake, downshifts automatically get you in the right gear and you can uh, really just let the car do a lot of the work for you it really does feel so confident and you know what the more I drive this car the more I, I uh, I'm just appreciating what they've done here the balance is fantastic it's just it's so smooth powerful confident sophisticated luxurious feels well put together and the sound is just uh, the icing on the cake so this is a one heck of a car like I said it's not a pure flat-out sports car but boy <laughs> it sure makes this a lot of fun I'd love to live near here boy you get some speeding tickets along here that was one storm man it's good to be back on dry ground again These roads okay lift off brake downshift it downshifts automatically two gears in just the right band for power come again brake downshifts again that's two gears again upshift brake so confident so sure-footed so nice to drive. My goodness, this is wonderful. <laughs> this was worth the day of travel to get here, I tell you. Okay, we're in the little town now. Now we slow down. Bring the blood pressure down. That's fun. That's good stuff. <laughs> well done, Mercedes-Benz. Well, here we are, day two with the C-Class Cabriolet. This isn't the weather Mercedes-Benz planned on to have the roof down. It's raining yet again. It was a big storm yesterday, but I'm really looking forward to driving this car. Yesterday, I had the C63. Today, the C43. This car is different. It has a new nine-speed automatic transmission. So, with the roof up, let's take it for a drive. Now, yesterday, I had a chance to drive the C63S, which was a blast. And today, I'm driving the car that most people are probably going to choose if they want a performance upgrade from the base four cylinder. It's called the C43, and it's a three liter bi turbo six cylinder engine, and it is 367 horsepower. And the power goes to all four wheels through a nine speed automatic transmission. This is the same nine speed that's used in the GLC, and it hasn't migrated over to the C63. But speaking to the engineers from Germany that are here joining us on the trip, they say that the nine speed will eventually migrate across the whole C-Class family. So it does add two extra gears and that really makes this less powerful car feel very lively. It doesn't have the same sound as a good old V8 engine, but it's, uh, it's got a nice raspy tone to it. So if you're considering a C-Class, whether it's the Coupe or this Cabriolet or the GLC, any of the family, if it was me, this would be the engine that I would choose. Gives you more power. It's not that the two liter four cylinder doesn't do a good job. It's just that for me, this really is the sweet spot, the perfect sort of balance of power and efficiency and price point as well.
Well, it certainly has been a beautiful part of the world to test drive this wonderful car. This is a part of Italy that most people don't think of coming to, but it really is worth visiting, especially if you love fantastic roads. It's been a great companion. The C63, especially the S, is really a beautiful car with tons of power, but I really think that most people should choose the C43. It definitely is a good all-rounder. I think that the base model C-Class could use a little bit more grunt, so that's the car I would opt for. Didn't really talk much about the interior. It's been mentioned many times that the C-Class, I believe now, is the class leader when it comes to interior refinement. So this is just a beautiful take on a wonderful class of car. Thanks.